Hey guys, in this Spark AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can add a chromatic apparition effect like this to your Instagram filters. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create a filter with some chromatic apparition effect here in the Spark AR Studio. At first, I will show you how you can add the effect to the camera stream. Then I will show you how you can add a LUT to it so you know how to um, work with a LUT so you can combine a LUT and the chromatic apparition effect and then I will show you a little workaround to adjust the filter so it looks better in my opinion but of course yeah you can just play around with everything I show you in this video. So let's start with adding the, the effect to the normal camera stream here. To do this we need of course to extract the camera texture from our camera object in the scene. So we go to the left hand side to our scene and select our camera object. Then we go to the right hand side and here we can find texture extraction. And here we just click on the little plus. So when we have done this we can find in our assets bundle the camera texture zero. Now we just drag and drop this camera texture zero into our patch editor. So now we can find this orange patch in our patch editor. The next step is that we create of course a material for our camera stream. So for this we go again to our assets bundle click on the plus then we create a new material and I will yeah will call this material camera so then we select the just created material go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat this is very important and then we go down to our shader properties to diffuse and here next to texture we can find a little arrow Let's just click on it and then we will find a new yellow patch in our patch editor. Now we could just connect the camera texture and the camera um, patch, but of course we need another patch in between and we can find this patch in the asset library of the Spark AR Studio. So we go to the left hand side and here we can find a little icon which says AR library. So yeah, just click on it and then here just search for chromatic. When you have done this you will find a, here at the patch assets this chromatic apparition um, patch from Matthias. So yeah thanks Matthias for providing us this patch and then we can just click here on import free. So now it is downloading everything and we can hit done. So but before we will yeah play around with the chromatic apparition patch we also need some yeah scene objects that we also see this here in our preview window. So for this we go to our scene, click on the plus and here we search for rectangle. So this rectangle is created, we can see it that there is a little square on the left upper corner and I will just rename this rectangle to camera. Then I go to the right hand side and set the width of the rectangle to fill width and the height to fill height. Then I go down to materials and set the materials, the material to the camera material. So now nothing is visible because there isn't anything connected. So let's start. Now we go back to our assets panel and drag and drop the chromatic apparition into our patch editor. So now we can see there are a lot of inputs at the chromatic apparition patch. So, this texture is clear, we have to connect the RGBA output of our camera texture to the texture input here. So the next thing is that we need a screen size. To get the screen size we need the device patch. To get the device patch we need to go to our scene and drag and drop the device object into the patch editor. So now we can see here a lot of outputs too at the device patch and here is the screen size and the screen scale. But we can't just connect the screen size to this input because we need here another patch, a divide patch, because we have to also keep the aspect ratio and the scale in mind. So yeah, just create a divide patch and connect the screen size to the first input of the device patch and the screen scale to the second input of the divide patch. And then the output of this patch goes into the screen size input of the chromatic apparition patch. And now we can just connect the output of the chromatic apparition to our camera input. 
So, and now we can already see there is some little chromatic aberration going on. So when you set the intensity much higher, you can see the chromatic aberration is appearing here on the screen. And yeah, you can also play around here with the lens distortion. For example, when you set it to 0.2, it is a little bit stronger or to, uh, to 1.2, I mean, or to 0.5, it is also, yeah, <laughs> crazy. So, but I will just leave it to, yeah, no, let's leave it here or yeah, let's say 1.5, no, or just one maybe, or 0.8. Yeah, just play around until you get your preferred output. So now we have applied the chromatic apparition um, yeah, to our camera stream here. But yeah, I will also show you how you can combine this with a LUT. So yet yeah, let's yeah, just import a LUT here. I hope you have a LUT file. If not, I have I will provide you with a LUT file. So just go to the description of the video. There you can find a download link where you can um, yeah, download a package for this video. And this will contain a LUT.png file and also a alpha.png file, which we will use later in this video to yeah, enhance this filter. So yeah, let's import the LUT first. Go to the, your assets panel, click on the plus. And here go to import and here it is important that you import the color LUT in this way so yeah just click on color LUT and search for your LUT and click on open so when you have done this you will find your color LUT um, at the color LUT section in your assets panel and now just drag and drop this LUT file to your patch editor and yes bug AR will automatically create this for you so now we have to delete this connection between the camera texture and the chromatic apparition and then connect the RGB output again, but now with the texture input of the color LUT shader patch. And then the output of the color LUT shader patch goes into the texture input of the chromatic apparition. And now you can see the yeah, color LUT is applied. So when you, here you can set the intensity, intensity of the color LUT you see there is definitely a lot applied. So now you know also how to yeah, combine the chromatic aberration effect with a lot. But now I will show you something to enhance the filter because at the moment there is also some chromatic aberration going on in the middle um, of the screen. I don't want this in all of my filters, so I want to get rid of it. And for this, I have created this alpha.png file. This is just a mask. You can also create your own mask um, if you want to change the size. Um, I have created this mask in Sketch, so it's just a black circle and you can just adjust the yeah, size of it. And everything what is white will then be later the chromatic aberration visible in yeah, in the filter and the black part is the one that will not be affected for the effect. So, before we do this, we need another material. So, go to your assets, click on the plus and create a new material. I will call this material alpha or mask, it's easier. Set the shader type also to flat. Go down to diffuse again and click on the little arrow next to texture. So. Now we can just connect also the chromatic aberration with the input of the diffuse texture of the mask. And then we also need, of course, a new um, rectangle to apply the material to it. So again, go to your scene, click on the plus, search for rectangle, and then there should be automatically be a rectangle created. Make sure this rectangle is underneath the camera rectangle in the scene. So, and I will call this mask. Then again, select the mask rectangle, go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. And then for the material, select the mask material. Looks the same as before, but yeah, <laughs> let's change this. So go to your assets panel again and import the alpha.png file I have provided. So for this, just go to import from computer and select the alpha.png file. So make sure you import this. And the first thing we do is to set the compression to none. So select the texture, go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. 
So now we go again to our mask material we have just created and then go to the right hand side and activate here the alpha option. And for the texture here, we select our alpha um, yeah, texture we have imported. And then also here check this checkbox next to invert. At the moment, nothing has happened because um, yeah, the cutout also shows the camera stream and at the camera stream there's also this chromatic aberration applied. So yeah, to remove the chromatic aberration from the camera stream, um, yeah, we have to change this here. So the camera is at the moment connected to the chromatic aberration, but it just needs to be connected to the color light shader. So let's change this. And when we have done this, you can see now the middle part of the picture is not affected um, with of the chromatic aberration and just here at the edges, um, the chromatic aberration is appearing. And now you have just created, created an Spark AR effect for your Instagram with a chromatic aberration effect. And now you can just play around here with the color light shader with the intensity and also with the intensity of the chromatic aberration and also here with the lens distortion. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.